So I first produced this template a few months ago, trying to replace a paper planner with Notion. And it's worked very well, I've made a lot of tweaks to it since then. So if you've not used this before, I'll kind of walk through what's in this template. If you are using it, um, you can see some things I've changed in and perhaps make a few changes to your own. I'm tweaking mine a little bit almost every week. Uh, so you may find a few things in here that are valuable and a few things that aren't, you can make it your own. Uh, so working from the back up though, annually, this annual goals change hasn't, annual goals page hasn't changed, just a standard page of text kind of put your goals from the year, place to review quarterly. Really where this really starts working is with your quarterly reviews. The quarterly reviews are pretty simple and again, haven't changed since I published the template before. But it's really just a page, just kind of make you think about the quarter a little bit. You put in you know, Q1 2019, put in what the dates were for that. Talk through your biggest wins, what you want to improve and stuff, and then review those annual goals, review your quarterly calendar and review your ideal week. So those links are here as well. The ideal week just a, a layout of what a perfect week would look like. If you had full control of your calendar, what would it look like? So Mondays, you'd get up and exercise, head into work, you have that staff meeting, you'd take a client to lunch, you know, you go play basketball in the evenings, you know, whatever you want to do, sleep in on Saturdays, go to church on Sundays, run on Saturday afternoons, you know, lay out what a perfect week would look like. It's a good review periodically just to try to force your schedule back toward that a little bit if you can. And then the high level calendar, I still use Google Calendar for my day to day calendaring, but I put the three to five big events each week in this, mostly so I can look further ahead. I try to put them out as far as I have them. And our school system already has the 2020, 2021 calendar out there. So I already have the first day of school and spring break and all that for way out in the future, just so I can kind of get an idea of it and really flip through this, mostly in a quarterly look, but I will look at this some in the weekly reviews and we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, and then, so going back, weekly is really where I started making a few changes. Daily is where I've made most of the changes, but weekly, I'll show you what's going on. So weekly, um, we'll add a new week here. So new week, we'll make it for this week. We'll say we did this a few days ago. So December 16th, and we'll end it on the 22nd. And I'll usually call it something like that, December 16th through 22, 2019. And usually what I do when I make a week, I then favorite it. I don't keep many favorites on my sidebar, but I'll favorite that so I can quickly get to it when I want. But now we'll pull in the new week template and we'll walk through this a bit. So the weekly big three are just the big three things you wanna accomplish this week. You wanna land the Smith account and you wanna finish reading that book and you wanna you know, get the house clean for Christmas. It can be personal, professional, usually a mix. Just what are the main three things you wanna get so you can keep that top of mind. The daily look where we start pulling in daily pages. We'll talk about that in a minute here. Um, the tasks this week, in my case, I have it pull in my task database. I filter it down to this week. If you want, you can just type your tasks in here or just take this section out if you want. Uh, the calendar this week pulls in that high-level calendar for the week, but we have to adjust the filter. Uh, the template won't automatically pick up the right filter, so we'll adjust it to be from the 16th through the 22nd. So any events we have now will automatically pull into here. And then the weekend I keep separate. It's more daily pages, but similar to that, similar to the weekdays that we'll talk about in a sec. And then the last week, uh, looking at last week, is at the bottom here. So I type in the big three from last week. So I'd, I'd type in things like land, land the Smith account, and I'd look at last week, see what it was, and then put what percent it was like, dang, we didn't quite land it, we're close. So 80%, I'll quickly give each one a number, you know, finish reading whatever book. Yes, I finished it and, you know, clean the house for Christmas. Yeah, I didn't get very far, 20%. Just to see what happened, what worked, what didn't, what will you do? Um, the piece I added here was some weekly tasks. So I go through and add some big events to that calendar from last week. If there's something big I wasn't ready for, I put it in there so I had that history. Then I look ahead in my Google calendar and what workouts I'm gonna get in next week. Um, I know theoretically I should put workouts in first, but the way my calendar in my life is right now, I'll look, the calendar is pretty much set. Now, where can I squeeze them in? I'll go ahead and get those carved out. And then my wife and I will look at carpooling for the next week. We have kind of a set weekly thing, but I wanna take a look at it and say, ooh, I, know, I normally take them Tuesday, but you're gonna to have to because I'm at this and we'll just kind of sort out whatever details we have. So I'll check through those as I get them done and work on that. And then really I'm done. Now the catch, of course, I haven't done those daily pages and those are pretty big and I've changed a lot in the dailies. So. The way this works, um, and I'll open this as a page, I like to look at the whole week, you know, as a, as a bigger piece here. So we'll add a daily page. In theory, this will have the five days of the week, Monday through Friday here, and then Saturday and Sunday down here, just kind of separate. I almost can make separate templates for them, but I have not done that yet. Uh, we'll make a new day. Uh, so this will be Monday. So we'll make it 16th here. Uh, the way I label these is usually the day of the week. So I'll do like Mon, Mon, December 16th. Keep it small. I don't need to do the year in this part. At least I don't, but you can do what you want. Um, my big three tasks for the day, the main three things I want to accomplish for the day, just type them in there. Um, an exercise log is you do at the end of the day. And I have, I don't know, eight or 10 different things I could do. I went to Planet Fitness or I ran or I walked or hiked or 
did a P90 workout or whatever the case may be. So you can just kind of tag, okay, I biked and ran. You know, you can tag those in there. Reading for me, I have this as a linked database to my books to read da database. I can just kind of tag the books. In this template, it's just a text box. You can put in what you just read. I just finished reading the one device all about the history of the iPhone. So you can maybe put that in. And so the idea of these is you can go to the daily pages. Um, we'll go ahead and pull that real quick. We'll go into daily, back up a little bit here. And over time, as you have you know dozens or hundreds of daily pages, you can kind of scroll down and say, see your exercise habits. When you know, I read the one device this day, that day, that day, and that day, took five different sessions. You know, whatever's going on, it's kind of nice to see all this laid out here uh, to get an idea of what's going on. So we'll go back in here though to our weekly look. Keep working on this week. Um, whoops, and I'm, oh, I messed up that. It's not showing in here because I hadn't set this filter. Again, this is another filter you need to set when you first set up each week. So we'll set this to be, uh, whoops, December 16th through, and again, this is only Monday through Friday the way I do it. So there's those five. And there our Monday came back. And again, we'll open as a page again so it looks a little better there. Uh, so there's our Monday. Um, so we'll keep working through. So that's the top. Now the daily schedule will pull in. This, this I made some changes to here. So if you look at it before, I used to have a separate page that had my uh, morning and evening rituals. I've added those in here as checkboxes. So the startup, the morning startup, and the workday startup, and then at the end is the workday shutdown and the evening shutdown. And these are just a set of tasks you should do every day. I put a few in here to get you started. So in the morning, eat breakfast, didn't exercise today, had my vitamins, cool. And then when you get to work, before you dig in, what should you do? I want to get my inbox back to zero so I know what's in front of me, check any Slack messages I have, check my big three, make sure I'm good, cool. Collapse those down. Uh, now, what events do I have that day? Again, the big calendar shows big events, but here I'll kind of list everything. I'll be like, okay, 9.30, staff meeting, um, 11.30, lunch with Allie, um, 2.30, call with Smith, and then 4.30, got to go to the bus stop, you know, pick up my daughter, whatever. I put just all the events again, just to get them in my head again to make sure I'm clear on what's going on. During the day, I maybe put some notes in here. I don't use that a lot, but I could. Uh, the daily tasks, I have a task database that pulls in here. And again, I just filter it to show only today's stuff. If you have one, you can do a similar kind of thing or just type in your task for the day or take this section out, whatever you want to do. Uh, then I have my workday shutdown and my evening shutdown rituals. So again, as I'm leaving work, get inbox back to zero, get Slack back to zero. I use Google Keep a lot for quick notes through the day. So I process those and get them in here or deal with them or put them in my calendar, whatever processing means for the different notes. And then look at tomorrow's big three and kind of set set a rough idea for those. And then in the evening, you can have different things, read, journal, whatever you want to do in the evening and check those off. Now, I used to have a separate thing where I'd pull my journal in and decided that was kind of silly. I already have a page for every day. So the journal is now just at the bottom of this daily page. And so, again, you can certainly adjust these questions to whatever you want. These I've pulled from a variety of sources and I kind of finesse them over time. But, you know, what happened? What did I achieve? How am I feeling? What I'm grateful for? You can kind of read through. You know, what did I say no to today is a new one I had. I like that. What did I read or hear? Just some little snippets there. So it's kind of nice. It just felt silly to create a daily page for everything and then a daily journal page for everything. I want to have it in one place. So this makes it a pretty robust page. And I should say also, while I'm working on this, I'll typically open this as a full page. Again, just to focus on, as I'm doing my weekly preview, okay, I'm working on Monday. Let's just focus on Monday, just for three minutes here. It's not going to take long. We'll focus on Monday, what do I want to accomplish, get everything in here. Um, and then when I come in Monday morning, then I can actually start doing the routines. I also typically will add a cover image just for looks. Sometimes I'll just leave the default. Uh, if there's something fun going on, um, I may try to do something to match. It's nice to have the unsplash in here. So if it was, you know, decorated for Christmas, we could search for like Christmas tree. You know, if we're going to do big holiday decorations that day, you know, whatever, we can pull in some Christmas picture, whatever we want. But I like this because I want to get back to my weekly view. Go back this way. Um, you'll see, oops, I don't have it set right in here. My apologies. Um, go to properties and I want to preview the page covers. So you can see the covers across this and it'll actually, you can have it show the big three if you want going down. But as I'm doing my weekly preview, it's okay, Monday's done. Now let's begin to Tuesday. So we'll say, okay, Tuesday, December 17th, change the date to December 17th, work in your big three, you know, whatever you got going on. Um, and like I do with the weekly, I'll usually favorite today. So in today's side over in my, uh, excuse me, my favorites over on the side, I don't keep much in there, but I always have this week and today. So I can quickly hop into those and, and deal with what's going on. So we'll you know, build out the daily schedule, we'll do what we're going to do, add a cover, you know, make it look whatever. And we'll have five days in. You have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Most screens five fit pretty well. Put that stupid new thing then on a new line and waste more space, but not a big deal. 
Um, and then I do the same thing for the weekend. So again, we'll filter in here. So we want it to be filtered for the 21st and 22nd this week. So we'll say new day. So this is Saturday, December 21. You know, the big things are different on the weekend. All this stuff tends to be different. Still using the same template. I could, again, make a case for a daily schedule and a weekend schedule, but still the same. I still want to do most of the morning ritual stuff. Again, weekday startup could be a little bit different, but personally, I still do most of these things. I still make sure my inbox and Slack are in good shape. And my big three is still a big three. It's more focused on yard work and housework and dance classes and soccer and stuff, but it's still, still the big three. And I know that my afternoon is shot with dance, my evening shot with soccer and, you know, whatever's going on still, still applies. Um, and all this same kind of stuff works. And again, I'll add a cover in here to make it look, look nice. Um, in here again, it might be a soccer, soccer games, the big thing of the day. So we'll do soccer and, you know, there's soccer ball. Um, then again, oops, let it load here. Uh, I intended for this to show a little bit different here. So I'll change this. This will change the template. So it'll be good for you, Good to go for you. Uh, the page cover. There we go. Can I see what's going on? Get that stuff. And that's basically what we've got now. So I've made the daily pages a whole lot more robust, <coughs> excuse me, than they used to be. Um, and they really work quite well. And I use them a lot more as a result. You know, before, if you use this before, the daily pages when you were in one really just had um, events and notes. That's all it had. And I've added the exercise, the reading, the startup routines, the tasks, the journal, uh, the shutdown routines, all that kind of stuff to make the days a lot more useful to come to these pages. And because it's more useful, I come here more often. And because I come here more often, it becomes more useful. And it's just a, a good win all the way around as it keeps cycling through. So I hope this is useful for you. If you're watching this video somewhere else, I don't know where you're seeing this. If you go to notiontips.com, notiontips.com, uh, we have a link to this template so you can download it yourself. Uh, this revised version, I'll get it tidied up here in a second and get it linked. Um, you can have at it. And if you have any good suggestions on how you've taken it and adjusted it and made it even better, please let me know and we'll continue to all refine it together and make it even better. Thanks.